Uh, so, hello guys, it's Awoken Line Me Sway today, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to do 90s. I'm sorry right now, but like, I broke my, my, um, my other mic, so like, you guys, you, you guys have to experience this mic, which I'm actually bar borrowing from Anthony, as you guys know, which is my first subscriber. So, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to do 90s, and there's actually different variations of 90s. Any which you guys would like to prefer, you should choose it because, to be honest, the first 90 you should get used to is a typical no um, floor 90. So you just keep on going like this. If it's suitable for you, just keep on walking while doing it. As you can see there, just keep on going like this. Okay? And one of them, and another more typical. 90 is if you if other people just go like this just floor 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 when well, no, not floor wall 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 floor ramp and it's pretty simple but like you don't really need to place all these walls you could just go like this right and how i practiced this was just going like this no jumping i just needed to get used to placing all the stuff and how i did that was just keep on doing this just keep on doing that and like eventually you'll get used to doing that which means you're probably going to be able to do these 90s so let me just show you a preview oh. there and um while you're doing 90s, also remember that if you're gonna do a 90, when you jump, place your floor and ramp at the same time. Because if you don't, you're either gonna you're either gonna hop too forward, hop forward, and then you're gonna misplace your ramp and you're gonna go under it. So never do that. Another thing you should know about doing 90s is don't hug the walls. Okay? Like if you're doing a 90. And if you jump too early, as you can see there, I'm hugging the wall, which makes your 90s a lot slower. What I like to do is like do 90s with a high sensitivity. So like I'm able to move my camera pretty quick to the right. And so I'm not able to hug the wall. Why you guys, you should, why you should use metal doing your, practicing your 90s is because as you can see, if you place a piece of metal stair or anything, you see this straight line in the metal stair. Once once you're like up here, like half of the stair, and like you're in this little square right here, start doing your 90s. And as you can see here again, I'm always staying on the left if you want to do right 90s. But if you want to do left 90s, stay on this side. And same thing goes for these 90s. Always stay on this side and stay in this little box for efficient 90s. Well, there's a lot more variations of 90s, like the spider climb 90s, like these, or the mongrel 90s, I actually don't know how to do them. And that's basically it. There's actually more 90s you could think of. You could even create your own. And like, in a real game situation, and you still are not like used to doing 90s, I prefer doing this with no, um, with no, what you call it again? floor also and here's one last tip about doing it and here's like a harsh one you're never gonna do clean 90s if you're not either playing claw or just basically you're able to jump on a controller without moving your your thumbs what i like to do here is like i'm actually gonna save this for another settings video if you guys want it um I actually jump with L3, the joystick, and I have auto sprint on. So, that would help because like, if you're not gonna, if you don't have that, you're gonna have to do all these motions in one jump. And it's gonna be pretty hard because like, you need to move your thumb and, and you need to place all these builds at the same time. And you don't have, you don't have another thumb to actually um, move your camera while doing it. So, this is my detailed um, 
this is my detailed video about doing 90s. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope, and I hope you guys actually learned something from this. Thank you for watching.